This video will discuss the commutators of matrices and some interesting properties that occur when matrices commute. Okay, so let's say we have, as we have in much of this chapter, uh, two matrices A and B. These are both n by n Hermitian matrices. So in that case, we can define the following kind of matrix where we have kind of a bracket or a brace. No, I think this would be a bracket. We have a bracket A comma B, <clears throat> and this is equal to A times B minus B times A. Because both of these are N by N, we can multiply them in either order. So we have the difference between multiplying A times B and B times A. This is called the commutator of A and B. Um, also of interest, I have improperly labeled there. Let me go ahead and fix that one. Much better. There we have, uh, that is a brace relative to a bracket here. Um, not discussed a whole lot, but I'll just mention it in passing that we have also what's called an anti-commutator, where if we take A times B plus B times A, uh, that comes up in a few applications in quantum mechanics, but men just mentioning that in passing for now in case you happen to see that. So if I have my commutator of A and B, and if that equals a zero matrix, so every element of the matrix is equal to zero, so you have n by you have n by n zeros in each of your columns and rows, then the commutator is equal to zero, and you have what is called a and b commuting. So a if the commutator is equal to zero, then a and b commute, and thus with the same unitary matrix, so the same u. We have u dagger a u equals the diagonal matrix a, little a, and the same matrix u dagger b u, the same unitary transformation, equals matrix little b, which is the diagonal representation of b. So this means that with the same unitary matrix, the unitary transformation diagonalizes a and b. And if we recall from the previous video, that this unitary matrix is just composed of the eigenvectors of A. So since this matrix is the same, A and B have to have the same set of eigenvectors. So the eigenvectors of A and the eigenvectors of B are the same set of eigenvectors. And what this means is that we can diagonalize both of them with the same matrix. We can diagonalize both of them at the same time. So we can know the eigenvalues of each of these two matrices, both at the same time uh, to exact precision. We can know both of them exactly simultaneously. So if they do not commute, then we say that there is an uncertainty between A and B. So as I mentioned, the eigenvalues sort of core sorry, the, the ma these matrices are going to typically correspond to physical properties, things like energy, momentum, position, etc. So the, the eigenvalues are sort of like the values of those properties that you can measure. So whenever they don't commute, there's an uncertainty relationship between A and B. So some matrix operator for position is not going to commute with a matrix operator for momentum. And um, matrices where we do commute, then we do not have this uncertainty relationship. We can know both of them at the same time because they have the same eigenvectors, the same unitary matrix diagonalizes them, giving us access to what those eigenvalues are. Because remember, the elements of these diagonal matrices are the eigenvalues of those matrices.